my wife and I decided to invest some money into comic books. If you're interested in seeing what three I invested money in, hit the like button while the intro plays and stay tuned. The investment game, no matter what it is, is always something that is very tricky and it's always a gamble and gambling is something that I do not do. I'm not a gambler. I work hard for my money and I'm not real good with just giving it away on a chance that I might get something in return. After my wife and I riding home from Nick's house one evening, Listening to my buddy JB over at Discovery Bay Comics talking about his wife and him deciding to take some money that they were going to put in the stock market and invest it into comic books instead, it sparked a conversation where my wife was asking me if this is something I thought could work. And I told her, yes, if done properly, if put into the right books, absolutely, I believe it can work. Her next question was, do you know which books those are? Well, of course I do. Of course I do. However, a lot of those books are very expensive. So after a long conversation, her asking a bunch of questions, just trying to make sure that I knew what I was talking about, she gave me the green light, said, go find some books that you think will definitely have a good return. And that's what I did. So the first book, the first book that I chose, this is something that I definitely think is probably the longest shot out of the three, but still I'm pretty certain, pretty certain, that this one's gonna happen. And I picked up Uncanny X-Men 266 in a CGC 9.6. Now, I do have this in a 9.8 already. However, that book has some sentimental value to me, so I'm not 100% sure that I would be willing to sell that later on. But I was able to pick this 9.6 up for a great, great price. And I've already seen uh, a return on this investment just over the past month which has been awesome. Uh, this is something that I definitely plan to hold on to until we find out if Gambit is going to be a part of the MCU along with the rest of the X-Men. As popular as this character is, I think that it's definitely a good chance. And I think this is a solid book to definitely uh, be one of the ones that I chose for my wife and I to invest our money in. Now, I might catch a little bit of heat for this next one. However, I did say just because this isn't my favorite character or one that I really like a whole lot doesn't mean I don't respect that the character definitely uh, has a long lineage of value to comic books and monetary too. So the next book I picked up, Amazing Spider-Man issue 300, a 7.5 newsstand. This book, newsstand does matter. Uh, newsstands fetch way more than a direct edition it seems like. And this one I got from my local comic shop and he wouldn't even give me a dollar off of this book. Uh, and I don't blame him because how he did show me that this book has a definite, definite big possibility of making a jump with just a small cleaning job. Uh, all of the yellow here is pretty dirty. The white on the lettering here is dirty. Even down here on the newsstand, uh, the barcode, it's, it's really dirty. So just with a nice cleaning, this has a good chance of bumping to an 8.0. And since I've purchased this, and I did have it on kind of like a layaway payment plan, I just got it back. So... Uh, by the time it took me to pay this off, I'm already looking at about a $250 return as a 7.5. So if I do get it to come back as an 8.0 or even higher, we're looking even better. Now this last book, this is the big one. This is the one that really, really, really was hard for me to pull the trigger on. Uh, I've never spent anywhere near this amount of money on a comic book. I said for a long time I would never spend more money on a comic book than I have on a vehicle that I've driven to work for more than a week. Uh, so this was very, very difficult for me to do. Um, however, because of the book it is, it's really a no-brainer at that though. Because let's just show you what it is. We have Hulk 181 in a 2.5 the second appearance of wolverine now we know what this book is we know what this book has done and continues to do week in and week out it's setting records non-stop and just since my purchasing of this book it's already jumped up the most recent sale on ebay is already over a thousand dollars more than i paid for this one i saw this one on ebay and it had a best offer option 
I offered $800 less than what the person was asking and they accepted it. I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't accept it, but when they did, I knew, all right, well, this is happening. So we now own the second appearance of Wolverine Incredible Hulk 181 in a 2.5 off-white pages. So that's pretty cool. Now, another cool thing about this one is it has not been pressed or cleaned. It, it is absolutely the best looking 2.5 that I've ever seen. I'm going to definitely get this one worked on, and if I can get this right here on the h if you can see there it almost looks like another book was laid on top of it and got stuck whenever somebody pulled it away and I, i've seen this stuff like this come off before so if i can get this one cleaned up get that taken off the back is extremely dirty as well a few pressed creases in here too we may be looking at a three five or better on this book because it is in really really nice shape very minimal spine damage uh, the corners still look really nice. It's got some staining here that won't go away, but I mean, all in all, I definitely, definitely think this was a perfect, perfect book to pick up. And I wanted to get something that was lower grade because the 9.0s and higher are getting out of reach for probably 75 to 80% of people that are buying comic books. So I wanted something that if I needed to get rid of it anytime soon, it would be cheap enough that I could definitely do that, even still getting a small return. Now this is a book that I plan on holding until Wolverine makes his debut in the MCU, whether it be in a trailer or a casting, whichever it is, when I feel like that this book has reached potential where I'm gonna get the best, best, best return on investment, that's when I'm going to sell this book. And I thought a 2.5 was great because even if it does bump up, it's still gonna be a mid-grade at best, which allows me to have a much broader audience of people that will be able to afford to purchase this that meaning that it will sell quicker i won't sit on it as long and my return will still be really good but i'll get it even quicker than if i had something that was like an 8.5 or a 9.0 or higher so guys let me know what did you think about the three books that i decided that my wife and i we're going to put our money into as far as investing. Uh, do you think that these are three long shots or do you think these are three just absolute guarantees? In my eyes, I believe these are guarantees. Guarantee returns on investments uh, and, and, and really, really nice returns as well. Uh, I'm already probably up about $2,000 uh, on a return from what I put into these in just the last probably month and a week or so. Uh, so it, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. This is not something that we talk about all the time on the channel just because uh, investing is not something that, that we want to turn our channel into being about. However, I do know that people are interested in it and I thought that it would be good for me to show you guys some of the stuff that I'm investing my money in uh, just, just for later on down the road. And honestly, I don't even consider these spec anymore because come on, Wolverine gonna happen for sure uh amazing spider-man 300 that book is just a guaranteed always gonna be on the rise now we do have a venom movie coming out but there's already been one uh, and and of course gambit i think is also another it's just too popular of a character to not hit the mcu at some point so let me know in the comment section below guys which one of these do you think is definitely the best one that I picked up as far as the ability to have a great return? Or do you think I missed the ball completely? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, collect your way.